What's going on everyone? Ninja here from NTP back again with another Naruto statue. Today we have Shikamaru. Uh, this is the second to last one that I'm going to be doing in this uh, first set of 10. And after that we'll take a break from this and we'll go through some different content. And then we'll come back to this last half, like a little bit later. So, um, but yeah, this is Shikamaru. Uh, throw a picture here, a reference picture or whatever. Um, so this is him, he's got like a really high IQ, known for like strategy, he's known as like a strategist and stuff, and um, he uses a pretty interesting uh, jutsu uh, called like, I don't know, uh, Shadow Possession Jutsu, there we go, couldn't think of it for some reason. Um, it's a lot cooler like later on, but really he just like can take control of someone's shadow and mimic his, mu his uh, movements and stuff. Um, this is one of the characters you see a lot of throughout the show, um, through the regular Naruto, at least you start to see a little bit more of him, and then definitely you see a lot, a lot more of him in a Naruto Shippuden, because he, he becomes like a lot, re a lot more relevant of a character than like some of the other classmates and stuff. Um, he's probably the most you see out of this whole... Uh, Team Asuma right here like because he's the first one here that, that we're making uh, you probably see him the most out of uh, all the rest of them. you you see you definitely see a lot of like Rock Lee, Neji, Tenten, and Tenten actually not so much now that I think about it uh, but definitely like Guy and all them but then Shikamaru you see a lot of so um yeah that's that's all I really want to say about him let's just go and get into the dimensions now so the legs here are eight by 4 by 12 the torso is 8 by 4 by 12 the arms are attached or aligned to the torso and they are 4 by 4 by 12 and the head here is 8 by 8 by 8 with a pretty interesting hat effect this is like the first one that's kind of crazy he's got like a little bit of a bun like ponytail on top of, well not really a bun but like a, uh, a ponytail that I did on the very top of his head and because this isn't really something that I can just do a still shot of I'm going to have something a little bit different. When we come to the back of the head here, um, or you know what, actually, I'll do it at the very end because this isn't really the back of his head. Um, but I'll, I'll cut away and I'll do a little tutorial of building the whole thing. And there's a little gnat on my mic. Uh, go away, go, shoo, shoo, go away. Okay, I think it's gone. Hopefully it doesn't return. I don't know why, maybe it's a little red light on my mic. I don't know. Anyway, that was, I hope you didn't hear a little scurrying going around. That would have been really, oh, he's on, he's back. Go away. I might have to cut this until I get rid of the gnat. Hopefully, okay. Hopefully he just goes away. I don't know. Um, I hate gnats. I hate them so much. Anyway, I'll do a little, I'll cut away. I'll do a little mini tutorial of building this block by block. And we'll just, you know, leave it at that. So, um, yeah, I'll build it for you. Kind of, because it's really hard to do a still, there he goes, a little still shot of uh, how to build this. So let's go and get into the details here. Um, as usual, I'll have pictures in the plastic texture pack um, on how to, you know, just if, if I go too fast, which is, it could probably happen. Um, just use that for reference and everything. So anyway, let's go and get back into this. Hopefully the gnat stays away from me. Because I'd really like for a gnat to not crawl over my mic. And I, I really don't want to hit this mic. It's very sensitive. Uh, I really like it, though. I, I really do like it. Anyway, so front of the legs here. The legs are brown. Uh, the paints are brown um, with uh, the little... I've been calling it like a, a wrapping around his mid-leg. Uh, of course, we have that, as many of them do, for the kunai pouch and everything. That is white and black. His skin's birch twin planks. And the shoes, as for almost all of these, uh, is blue. So we have that. Moving right here to the side. Uh, we have the kunai pouch. I made an extension on this one. I didn't really do this with many of the other ones. But um, you can actually see more of the kunai pouch in this one. Uh, with it being black. Uh, you know, the black, the brown, the birch planks, the white on either side. And then the blue of the shoes just wraps around here. If you've made more of these characters... A lot of these guys just have the exact same shoes, so it's pretty, pretty simple to make these guys. Um, brown pants, pretty much just mirror it from the very front. Actually, yeah, this is an exact mirroring from the very front of him, except um, we're just missing the toes on the shoes. You can just mirror that. And then this side is just the pants are completely brown. 
Um, and then there's just those couple layers of birchwood planks and blue for the shoes. And that is it for that one. Moving on to the front of him, probably the most detail here. He's got like a half shirt on or something. Um, so I went ahead, I believe, let's see, I'm looking at, I, I believe this is lime stained clay. Uh, I'm, I, you know, I'm going to cut here. I'm going to double check. We're, I'm going to cut and double check that's lime clay. All right, I'm back. And it was. It was, in fact, lime stained clay. I don't know why I was thinking it was green stained clay. Uh, for whatever reason, it, I just thought it was. But anyway, so the outlining of his like half shirt and his sleeves there, lime stained clay, and uh, he's got like a mesh like undershirt that's kind of checkered that is oak wind planks and spruce wind planks. The skin there is uh, birch wind planks. And then on either arm, it's a little different. On one arm, you can just see his plain... Uh, the left there, you can see just he has his plain symbol that's showing. Um, and then the other side, it looks a little weirder. That's because he has his, um, I can't think of the word, his headband. His headband, instead of being on his head, it's wrapped around his arm there. So that blue is from the headband that would have been around his head, but is instead on his arm, his upper arm. So we're going to do this arm first. Uh, this is the symbol. It is, uh, I didn't mention it. When I was looking at the, or when I was talking about the front of it, but that is a stained cyan clay, um, and I did. Oh, I also didn't mention what color the half shirt is. It's clay. It's it's uh, it's clay, not clay. Clay. <laughs> it's just regular clay. So we have stained cyan clay. We have regular clay, and then lime stained clay um, for the outlining. A lot of clay on this guy, and then the rest of his arm is just birch wooden planks. Moving right here to the back, we have that. We have another like symbol on the very back of him that is again uh, stained cyan clay. Uh, we have the checkered like mesh shirt underneath him that's still the oak and spruce wind planks checkering the outlining with the lime stained clay. The skin is still birch wind planks. The most of it's still just regular clay. And then here we go to the uh, headband with the blue. We have light gray stone and gray. Um, and then we have uh, what was or what would be the uh, the symbol on his shoulder there, but it's kind of being half covered up by the headband. I know it's kind of weird to kind of see that, but, you know, it works. Um, and then, of course, the outlining with the lime stained clay, and the rest of it's just all uh, skin. So there's that. Uh, moving on to the front of his face here. Uh, skin is birch wind, or, uh, yeah, birch wind planks. Mouth is oak wind planks. His eyes are spruce wind planks with the Holy Trinity right here. Other half of the eyes are white, and then I went ahead and did his eyebrows and his hair. Uh, both those are black. Moving right here to the side. Uh, both sides of his head are exactly the same. Um, it's just this one pattern with the birch wind planks and the one bit of clay there for his earrings. Uh, the rest of it's just black for the hair. Here's, I'm just going to go and come over here just to show you. It's the exact same thing, just mirrored right across. So both these are the same. So you can just make one side and then just flip it over and do the other side. And then the back of his head is completely black, as well as the top just fill that in. And then you have, like, the ponytail, which I'm going to go ahead and cut right now and do the block-by-block uh, -block tutorial of that real fast. So we're going to cut here, and then we'll come back for the outro. All right, everyone. So we are back here with the uh, tutorial of Shikamaru's ponytail there. So all we're going to need is white wool and black wool, and I've already got my potion of swiftness going here. I'm going to top myself off. So we're going to start with the white wool here, and here's the top of his head. This is the middle. So we're going to put two white there. We're going to branch it off here. Do this. Okay, so then we have this whole circle that's kind of going around uh, the very edge of his head here on the very top. So then what we're going to do is take our black wool, fill this in like this, right, like this, and then uh, we're going to go to this here and make a little L shape, right, L shape on both sides. Here's this other corner and do that, right, and then we're just going to fill this in like so, right, we're going to fill that in like so, fill the black in right there, and on the bottom, so now you should have both of these filled in completely like this. Then right here in the middle, we just put one more on that and on that side and then that is his ponytail 
pretty simple, but it's a little confusing just looking at a still shot of it, so glad I could uh, go ahead and do this tutorial for you guys. And that was my knee popping, and that is it. Alright guys, hope that helped. This is the end of the video now, so after you've done that ponytail, that is completely Shikamaru. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any requests, leave them in the comments for maybe other characters from other shows or animes or whatever, and uh, we'll see what we can do. But that's it for me, guys. Thank you for watching, and as always, I will see you for the next one.